Hey, welcome back. We're back with uh, Lost in Vivo. We took a look at this last time uh, and it was actually really good. We It was fucking terrifying. <laughs> it's got the right atmosphere, so I'm super excited to see where it goes. And I immediately remembered where we left off. Fuck. I was forced down a dark corridor with some fucking floating marionettes that just fucking ate my ass. So uh, I guess we'll try and do that again without dying. So I'm there. The moment I flip that breaker, everything goes dark. So I'm not like super crazy about this right now, but yeah, really not. Okay, let's check before I move. Okay. Oh. There's nothing behind me, there's nothing. That me noise means nothing, there's no one there. No problem whatsoever. Just gotta keep moving. Thank God. I assume. I assume it's just going to stop. Right, we're going up here now. No, it's blocked. No, we're not. Subway station says no. Oh, that just raised the stakes, right? Because, like, I don't fully understand combat yet. And it's put me in a position where, like, I can't escape him. So I think if I paused, it carried on. And looking at the map would have just got me killed. So it's really just like completely upped the stakes. And I'm like sat here like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, I hate it. So the option is we, we're up here. Is this where the... Do we, can we get on the train if there's a new train? Ooh, wait, hold on. Hold the fire. Wait, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. No, sir. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Shotgun. Fuck yes. Oh my god, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm half chub. God, that feels good. So I'm in this corridor and there's lots of fucking doors in this corridor. So... But I don't know the angle I came into this from. Let's just check in here. Let's just check. There's only one book here. <clears throat> well, that's unfortunate. The Miracle of Business. Okay, The Lost Tape 2. What is that? Well, I think. What is that? I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't like it. And I don't know what it is. It's broken. Well, of course it's fine. God, God, I, I was fine when I sat down to record and just the the spooks, the spooks, the atmosphere, the tension, they got me hankering for a piss. I'm fucking hurting for a squirting right now. Wait, hold on, hold on. Here's the way I tell. I need to look at the map while I'm in there so I can like work out. So we're in this room. So we came out at the thing there and we've come down. So, in reality, we want to go along that line of, um, of this and check out the other rooms. Do, 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 do. Everything's fine. Please don't spook. Oh, come on. You have to be a dick about it. Oh, fine. Fine, I'll go down spooky passageway to another corridor. God, think of all the taxes they built this place. My god. 
And we know who paid them. Not fucking Jeff. Yeah, we know how you play it, Mr. Bezos. There ain't no hiding from us. Oh, I've fucking confused myself, like, completely, actually. Where is there a corridor both ways? So that's there, but there's supposed to be another door. That don't dare me upset, I should have another door. Is this the door? It wasn't the door I was thinking of, I was slightly confused on the map, but it sure is a door. Broken. Broken. Love it. Oh, okay. I don't have any lockpick. Two broken doors and a locked door here. Okay. So we got a... Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know I had the gun that whole time. I, I picked up a damaged handgun earlier, but... I mean, I don't know. I read damaged and was like, oh, okay, maybe I have to fix it or find like a... Another piece or something. Okay, so if this is there... Then there should... Oh, I pressed the E, not W. <laughs> yes, okay, so it will actually be on the opposite side of the room that I... side, I think. Should be on the right. God, I do love me some subway tunnels. Which is lucky, because there are a fuck ton. Ooh. Ammo. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like that. One of these days I'll be able to open one of these lockers. And, and and then you'll all be sorry for thinking thinking I'm wasting my time by examining every fucking locker. The last fucking 27 years of my life have taught me that lockers in video games either have cool shit or are a place to hide. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I, I understand now. I've immediately forgotten where we went, and I'm looking around like, what? So, so, but it says there's a thing here. So why is there no... That's what I don't understand. Yeah, don't make sense to me, mate. There's supposed to be a little, uh, room. Like next to this like if I go in here yeah there should be apparently a door like here or something I'm confused and frustrated okay all right We'll check out the other end. So this is... okay. So... I am... Nervous. Wait, have I been in here before? This place is so confusing! Okay, no, I haven't been in here yet. I keep trying to jump. Okay, lockpick, so I can go and unlock that door. Oh my god, there's a body behind there. Oh, is there like a... Is there a... Is there a way to... 
there looks like there's a hidden thing. Um, how do I... Look, that, that looks like a pad in the floor that might unleash this room that I can see has a corpse in it. Which is either alive and breathing, or it's like hanging and swinging. I know which one of those I prefer. And it's definitely the one about swinging. There's no correlation to the other word. It's just pure coincidence. I will not be taking any more questions at this time. What is back here? Can I push this? I'm being blue-balled on a lot of pushing-related activities. There's only so much oppression I will take, Lost in Vivo. Until I'll snap. Let me push. Let me push. Unless you don't think I'm strong enough. It's pretty fucked up. Broken. Okay, I see. So you've got this big map that's like super intimidating with all these places. And you like very cleverly shoehorn me the way you want me to go. But I still get confused. Because I read the map and I look at all of the possible ways to go. And then I just start swaying. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Well, hello, where am I? But I know roughly where I need to go now. He says, yeah, clearly I do not. I was so sure there was, like, a way through here. Oh, it's back there, isn't it? My fucking god, dude. Literally, all there is between my ears, space. Like, fucking empty space. My head is a sack of hot air. On a good day. On a bad day, it's cold air. I'm just hangs limply at my side. I, I don't like the fact that you can open and examine shit behind you when you face the other way. Of course, the issue would be solved if I stopped accidentally hitting E instead of W. But that way I couldn't complain about it. So, do all the broken doors have handles off? And that's like the way to work it out. That's cool. I'm liking a lot of things that this game is doing. There's like an understanding of good level design and, and stuff while being like true to, somewhat true to like the area that's being presented to you and the information that's being given. I like it. So, right, let's get me shotgun out because um, the moment I fucking flip this, they're coming for me and I need to know where I'm going. Okay, once I come out, I go left and then right. We'll work out. Did someone lock the door behind me, or did this just... Did I go a different way? No, okay, I'm here. I don't like that door got locked behind me. Not a huge fan of that. Oh. And this is definitely the most uncomfortable part. I have put myself into a closed space. I'm a fool! But you're... <laughs> This is all so confusing. I'm lost. I'm naked and afraid. Oh, the train. I hear him. I hear him. <gasps> Actually physically jumped. That got me so fucking bad. This flashlight makes it so hard to see things. Oh my god, I almost threw up. Holy shit. That got me more than anything has in this game so far. Fuck you. Fuck off. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm fine. Yep, no, nothing's wrong. Switch back to the sledgehammer like it doesn't even matter. Doesn't... I don't care. But that definitely explains why that area before was way harder. It's because I was like melee attacking everything. So they were getting hits in on me. Which I don't think is the is the ideal play style. Um, okay, but the question is, if I go through here... Ah, we're in the new area. DJ AJ! 
He sounds like a chad. So there's so this is person's ad space, right? Have you noticed? I don't know if this is concurrent to the game or if the person's just making like a comment on like our society. Because either way, it, it's like a good use of medium. But have you noticed how many like weight and weight loss related like advertisements they are on these walls? It's crazy. Look, there's another one. I thought that said Reptile was here. Fuck, man, I'm kind of disappointed it wasn't Reptile. Broken. God. Oh, that's cute. I want my name in here. I whistled in the bathroom. Yep, uh, this is the classic scare mechanic. I have to check every time to make sure there's, like, not a key in the shitter. I don't know what to do. I'm not happy. I'm so ugly. And everyone treats me like I'm not even real. They're so pretty and perfect and they all have friends, but I'm just here. Like, on a on a non-haha funny joke like way, like the mental health comments in this game are like very, very relatable to people with those problems. And one thing I've noticed as well, well Okay, well one is I'm a vampire. Two I don't know. Like, I don't know the law yet, but as I said just now, there's a lot of weight loss related adverts on the walls. And a lot of the notes have been from a similar party who's like talking about how ugly and stuff they feel. And I don't know if this is related to the story or is like, as I said, subtext. It's like painting another picture at the same time. But like, I'm super interested in this. What happened here? Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Someone fucking stockpiled. That's a fucking a nest of COVID panic toilet paper if I've ever seen it. Okay, we check the stalls first because if I go and get that, I might get scared. I might get spooked. I don't. You you don't put it in the toilet. You shit. You wipe and then you put that. In it. People don't even know how to use the toilet nowadays. Nice, nice. I mean, I totally understand why these things do it, because rendering it at reflections, like, annoying and difficult for, for certain developers, and also it forces you to have a subject, whereas a lot of times they don't want to have a subject, which I think is why most of the time the mirrors are, like, broken. Because if they don't want to deliberately make a character, like some horror games that deliberately make characters and you see them and you're aware of who you are, a lot of them just want you to paint it as, like, <coughs> you. So it's, like, scarier. Okay, I'm gonna go back because... That takes me further towards the breaker, and I want to check if there's anything else down here. It's blocked, okay. So, nothing else down here? Alright, that's fine. Just thought I'd check. I'm really not ready to, to press him, be spooked again. It's a really nice ebb and flow the way they've got it. But like, oh my god, I know what's about to happen. It was a slow day when it happened. Only two trains even stopped here, and I didn't see her until it was too late. I heard her sobbing as she walked down the tracks. I wanted to run and save her, but I could hear the train. I just waited and listened. She must have regretted it at the last moment because I heard her scream. I can't stop her. She passes through the walls. All I can do is wait and listen. Wow. Okay. 
All right, I get it now. That's fucked. Okay, so it's like a... It's like someone's jumped on the tracks and like... They feel responsible. That's fucked up, dude. It... Oh, God, I feel so bad for people that... That that happens to. Like, oh, my God. All right. I don't like that the screen goes red when I hit them because I think I'm taking damage and it confuses me. Oh, is this freedom now? Or am I still in bad place? Okay, I think it's freedom. So have we got all the breakers or is this the one to go? One, two, I think we did it. Please don't do that. Please don't. He's so nice. I feel like I matter again. He makes me feel real. He tells me that I matter. He doesn't think I'm so ugly. Well, that's nice. As long as that's actually a nice person and not some sus shit, then it's really good. Do I go down there? What do I do, Maddie? I'm doing it. Colin! Colin the Lord! So, down the end here. Yeah. Oh, I have another tape though. Oh, do I want to? I guess I do. I'm already terrified. The first tape was too much. My little old heart. My little old grandma heart. Oh my god, that noise, that music. That fucking music. Go fuck yourself, game. Oh my god. <sighs> These tapes are like... I've been literally the scariest- Stop whistling! Literally the scariest part so far. Okay, there's no patient, but there's a beepy thing. I hear footsteps all around, which is making me very paranoid. What is this? Is that an ear? Oh no, I think it's just a, an IV bag. <laughs> but it's in this pixel style, so there isn't much to work with. I am so ready to be jump scared. It happened in the first tape, and I feel like it's just bound to happen. Okay, these people are all clearly dead. At some point I'm gonna get to the end of this room and they're all gonna sit up or some shit. And I'm gonna literally shit my pants. What did that say? What did that say? I don't know why I'm here. Is this happening because I'm looking here? Okay, and then I move and it... I don't know dude, I don't know why you're here. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why you're there when I don't know why I'm here watching you asking about why you're here. God. I am fine, I'm not scared. Oh, you're actually saying that we mm. I don't know if that will be happening, sir. I respectfully, uh, I respectfully consider your question, and I raise, um, a no. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with no. I think, uh, I think you're gonna stay here, and I'm gonna pray that I get out of tape number two without having a heart attack. Like that fucking dog got me in the first one. 
Why do they ever give me choices about ways to go? I can't tell what that one's saying. Yeah, I know. Covid. Jeez, alright, I get it. I'm... I don't live in a... Oh, I'm actually... Okay, well, I'd like to... Mmm, doesn't let you go back. Your progress is mandatory. No, yep, yeah, can't get back out of the tube. Once you go pipe, there's no going back. I think that's how the phrase goes anyway. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Woo! This is this is great. Just pretending I'm on a water slide. Hopefully anywhere but Action Park, so I can possibly keep my limbs. There's a super cool uh, series uh, here on YouTube called Defunct Land about various like places and theme parks and roller coaster places and stuff. Uh, they got shut down or something happened to them. Um, like a documentary style, super cool, really good watch. I recommend it. I don't know where I'm going and I hate it. Oh, I'm falling. Shouldn't have whistled. Hi, fellas. Hope I'm not interrupting. Hi, how are we, how are we doing? What are we doing, lads? Yeah, no, good, okay. I think I'm just gonna phase out reality so it's okay with you guys. Yeah, bye. Fucking hell. Okay, so I've made it back here. So we're just going through this door now. I'm scared because I, I feel like when I flip the lever, it's it's go time. And I can't quit I don't know where I'm going. Uh <laughs> oh, okay, I, I see what you're doing there, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, sorry about saving, yeah, no, I wasn't distracted. Alright, my dudes, see you in the next long, dark corridor on the inside of a dodgy-looking VHS tape. Don't forget to rewind it before you return it.